so today is a little bit of a milestone. Uh, today is the day that we're uh, going back to school. Uh, really excited uh, to get back there. The school has done a lot of work uh, to make sure that uh, the kids are safe. It's a pretty exciting day uh, to imagine uh, being able to go back to school and working uh, with our students again. Hey, Terry, how you doing? Oh, no, no shaking hands, we're gonna do this, yeah. Hey, welcome back, I'm really happy to see you. Hey, Storm. Hey. hey good to see you. Yeah. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, I'm really excited about coming back to school. Lindsay, I need your help. Uh, so the mom asked about uh, food procedures and how can we keep the students safe uh, while they're eating. And uh, from what I understand, uh, the cafeteria will be preparing a lunch box. Uh, it won't just be order this and order that. Uh, and then the students will eat a set meal uh, and then they will return to their dormitories afterwards. Um, we can keep a proper social distance and then we can prevent the infection from the viruses. <laughs> sanitizer we're all ready to go we're really excited to welcome our students uh, back to our school today come room teachers many of whom who have been here since the very beginning of our school and when we have an important message such as safety protocols or other information that needs to get out, uh, we can do that. So here's another one of our teachers uh, giving our safety talk. Uh, and the students are nicely spread out in this large room. And everyone happy to be back? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> so nice, Joel. Look at all of the great offers that our students were able to receive from top universities in uh, Canada, UK, United States, Australia, and many other places. Hey, Miss Todd. Oh, hey, Henry. How are you doing? Yeah. I have a question. Yeah, what is it? Uh, can the university begin normally in the September? Uh, it's a really good question. Uh, the answer right now is nobody knows how long it will take. Okay. They're closed right now. Uh, but we have hope and we believe that everything will be back to normal by the summer and therefore it should be okay by next year, by next okay. September. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, yeah. Carly. Um, hey. You know, I'm going to uh, the UK and yeah. uh, it was a good country, but I'm not sure I uh, received some prejudice there because, you know, you can see the situation. Yeah. Well, uh, I think that whenever anyone goes to a new culture, it's possible that they will face that. Yeah. But I will say that I've seen stories out of Canada where people are telling people not to do that if it does happen. That's true. Uh, and, and that gives me hope uh, that people are not going to act that way. Uh, so I can say that going abroad, you're going to face things that you've never faced before. Yeah. But that for the most part, people do not accept that and so you don't need to worry about it. Thank you. Thank hey, you, Thanks, Thank guys. You. Hey, welcome back. It's good to see you all. Take care. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Yeah, we're talking about our graduation. Oh, I was just looking at that too on our moment. So, so what uh, what offers do you guys have? Well, I have a university of Toronto. Nice. I've got one from the University of Toronto too. Nice. Yes. Uh, Congratulations, guys. That's amazing. Thank you. That's really good. Thank cool. You. Yeah. You guys should be really proud of yourselves. Yeah. 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 Yes. 
You know, it's a good thing that our students are excited about their offers and, uh, and the opportunities that they will have uh, to engage in international education in other countries. All of this is going to get back to normal and our rel strong relationships working with other educational institutions in other countries will continue. Uh, so we're very excited to uh, kind of keep that spirit alive. Uh, we're back today. Uh, those schools will be back as well. <laughs>